Hey, 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 welcome back to Beer Geek Beer Reviews, and I am taking a short little interim um, from doing my Oktoberfest beers, and uh, I thought I would give you a brand new bottling offer up here in Northeastern Ohio from a Jackie O. So this is their Oro Negro. The Oro Negro. Let me see if I can't get a better, you know, look at the bottle. There you go. There you go. Look at that. That is beautiful. I like the little mirror finish up in the background right there. And um, as, as you would notice, anybody that is a fan of the oil of Aphrodite, this has something similar. I did pay $8.94 for that. Um, but let me give you a little tidbit about this. It says the Oro Negro spawned from our unwavering compulsion to experiment. Infusing imperial stout with spices, fruits, and wood have been a staple at our bottling releases since 2009. Oro Negro is the accumulation of note-taking and listening to our patriots. Our cherished oil of Aphrodite is infused with cocoa nibs, vanilla bean, oak staves, habanero, and cinnamon sticks. A refined stout filled with rich characters and a touch of heat. So let's go ahead and open this up, pour it into said glass sitting here, and see if we can't get said heat from said beauty. So, here we go. It is... Another wonderful day. Very lovely. Loads of smoke. And what a beautiful dark amber mahogany color stout this has become. Here we go. All off into the cup. I shall wipe free the top so the label don't get messed up because I do save the label. And let's assess, shall we? This is a deep dark black hole, as always. I will say, a very thin line down here at the bottom of the glass is a mahogany or ruby red color um, head dissipated very quickly. Let me see if I can't stir one up. Ooh, there we go. Give me a second here. And there is that lovely mahogany slash khaki colored head as well. Oh my goodness. This, this here, they should have released this for the winter. Because just the aroma alone for this beer reminds me of almost like a gingerbread stout. You got vanilla. It smells very smooth. You got definite big cinnamon in this. It smells like a freaking cookie, dog. I don't know what else to say, man. It smells like a damn cookie. Oh my goodness, like a ginger snap. With some heat to it, because you can smell the habanero. The spicy habanero heat, like that herbal essence heat comes through. Let's hope that it comes through in the glass, shall we? Gross. Very smooth. Oh, there it is. I, I feel it right back here now. But let me go over this. Very smooth, very delicate, very decadent. And by the what I mean by all of those is that it's it's very smooth as it goes over your palate. It's almost got that creamy, uh, velvety smoothness that it just goes over your your palate and down the back of your throat and it's just so rich so smooth you're definitely getting big chocolate you're definitely getting big cocoa the cocoa nibs um coffee 
almost like a little bit of an espresso note. Um, the cinnamon comes through. The cinnamon is just awesome. It almost tastes like there's a little bit of something else in there, like kind of almost with, with the vanilla and the uh, cinnamon. It almost makes you want to believe that there's a hint of nutmeg in there as well, but there's uh, there shouldn't be. Um, the spice from the cinnamon and habanero do not create an abundance of heat. They're there. I can feel them, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's just like, oh, hi, there you are. But it's not like, oh, my God, this is hot. Um I would love to see them amp up the habanero in this beer because that would just make it f freaking phenomenal. But so far, this beer is, I mean, it's already, you know, scoring an A-plus for me. I don't know why. It's just, it's got, it's so complex. It's so grand of a beer. I'd like to, I'll, I'll even focus in on more on the beer than I will me because this is just a phenomenal beer. If anybody wants it, anybody seeks it out, try it, man. Oro Negro. It, it is just fantastic. Just the I, I don't I don't know. The more you drink on it, the more my my the back end of my throat gets a little bit warmer. By the end of the glass, you may be burning a little bit because I'm starting to feel a little bit of more tingle back there. Um, it's almost like drinking a ginger snap, and I don't I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's I I love the oil Aphrodite. I've had three different versions of it so far. I've had the regular version, I've had the rum barrel aged, and I've had the bourbon barrel aged. And that just adding another complexity to it. Um, this uh, adding in cinnamon, adding in uh, vanilla bean, adding in I mean, what else is in here? I, I, I taste uh, a little bit of a nuttiness. It is, um, oh, there it is, duh. Um, black walnuts. Um, I don't I don't know what else to say about this beer. I mean, freaking crap. I, I know where I got it. I, did, I went down to my um, local store here in Warren, Ohio. And there's plenty of people that know about this in my area. Um, cork and Caps, that used to be called uh, um, Charlie Michaels. Uh, they got in a case of this, and the case of it sold out within a day. Um, so I'm actually anxious for him to get more in because I will be stocking up on this beer, even at like $9 a bottle. And this is a 10%, 12.7 full ounce bottle. So yeah, I definitely consider the price worth it. This is a phenomenal beer. This is an A plus beer in my book and I don't really rate beers, but this is one to get out there, buy, pick it up, save it, age it, you know, maybe they'll even... You know, make a, a barrel version of it, which I'm hoping to God they do. Um, do it in like rum, tequila, um, bourbon, you know, whiskey, especially like uh, um, um, a Jameson, because Jameson is now releasing their um, barrels to the craft beer industry, and um, I don't believe that Ohio was picked for, you know, any of that. So maybe they can get a hold of uh, the Jameson company and get a hold of a couple of barrels, man. H some of this stuff in it and amp up the uh, habanero um, I think you would have a serious contender for a um, a platinum medal if they do make one for the beer companies and, uh, and the beer industry in, in um, the Great American Beer Festival if they don't they really need to um, because this is definitely a, a godforsaken winner um, I, I would not find anybody who would not like this beer, um, especially if you like a lot a, a beer with a lot of flavor to it, um, a beer with um, the style, um, an imperial stout. I mean, this is a double stout or a Russian imperial stout um, with additives added into it to add more flavor to it, um, and with the notation of vanilla bean, um, cocoa nibs. 
uh, cinnamon sticks, black walnuts, and, and the habanero. I mean, it just works so perfectly together, and I, I'm, I'm just amazed on how well this beer is. I thought it would um, choke me a little bit. Um, I, I am anxious to um, get this beer out there to the world because this beer is just simply freaking phenomenal. Um, with that said, I'm about to get up out of here. I've read and raved about this beer way too much. Um, Peace Pro Stucin, as always, rate, comment, subscribe. Hey, this beer came out now. Get on the lookout for it. Peace. Rate, comment, subscribe, man.